what is up everybody it is Hobbs here on a Wednesday and my good friend Jason has Wild Eye Wednesdays over on his channel and him and I both love the Wild Eye titles so does Brad Bronco Juggalo so I thought today since I had a little downtime I would go over the ones that I have and give you my thoughts and basically in a tribute to my buddy Horrific Nightmares JM Jason, one of my good friends here, I thought I would give my opinion on some of the Wild Eye films that I have. So, enjoy. Let's get right to it. So, the first title we have here is One Night in October. And this one was really fun. I don't have a lot of bad things to say about it other than I feel like the ending could have been a little bit more sustainable. I don't see a lot of people that have this one, but that is One Night in October. If you're a Halloween season type person and you love Halloween, this one's perfect for you. This one is Dosed. I don't see a lot of people that review this one either, but this one was fantastic. Um, it's about a guy that's on like depression medication because he loses his mind at times and he needs to be on some type of medication to kind of calm his nerves a little bit. He ends up uh, killing his mom on accident in a fire and it just kind of messes with his head a little bit. And he is trying to go back out into the world and start to date again. And he's having a really rough time to say the least. That is Dosed. Go check out Dosed. By the way, let me know if you guys have any of these as well. I just watched this one. It is called Rust. That was part of that trade that Jason and I did. This one was great. I do have a couple qualms with it though. I think they could have cut down 45 minutes of this film. Now, let me tell you the reason why. The first 30 to 35 minutes of the film was fantastic. I actually thought they could have ended it the way that they ended it. I was like, man, this should have been a short. Come to find out, going over on I Am db that it was a short and that they actually added to the film period though this was great rust was a good time just a little drawn out there's also a prequel and a sequel i believe to this as well rust this one was an absolute blast mrs claus i'm looking for mrs claus 2 as well hopefully i'll be getting that soon um, I can't say anything bad about Mrs. Claus. Some of the effects were a little cheesy, but you kind of expect that sometimes. That is Mrs. Claus. We're going to save that one for last. Let me move these around a little bit. Okay. The Witch Behind the Door, I just did a review on this film, absolutely loved it. Go check out The Witch Behind the Door, I review for that as well. This one was Clown Kill, and this one wasn't as successful in my opinion as the other ones have been with the Wild Eye Collection, but for what it was, it was, it was okay. Not the best effort, but... It's worth a watch. Clown Kill. This one gets really misunderstood and it gets a lot of bad reviews on it, but if you understand the story, you'll know the reason why this film is excellent. It is The Baylock Residence. Brad also reviewed this one as well. Also Bronco Juggalo, go check out his review. This movie was fun and entertaining. Especially if you like classic wartime situations. I believe it was World War II or the Korean War. I can't remember exactly. Return of the Scarecrow is growing on me. I've watched this one twice now. The first time I watched it, I even told Jason I can't watch it again. He said he did a second watch on it and enjoyed it. It gets better with each watch. I think people have seen this one. If not, go check out Return of the Scarecrow. Okay, I'm going to go in a different order here with these. Move these around a little bit. This is Lost Gully Road, which... This one, it's a slow burn, but it's effective. 
Um, not my favorite. I know some people liked it. I just wish there could have been more of a backstory to this, but Lost Gully Road. And these are the top three. So we have Clown Nato, which is also part of that trade that Jason and I did. This is a Todd Sheets release. I cannot tell you how awesome this is. This movie was fantastic. If you like gore and you're a big gore person and you like clowns in general, this is all you. I do know that it's a heavy ticket on eBay. I think it's about 15 bucks on eBay, but it's every worth a penny. If you are a gore person, this one is spot on. Check out Clown NATO. Another part of that trade. So now we're getting towards the two, my top two that I've liked so far. I just watched this today and I was absolutely blown away. I went into this thinking after watching Jason's review, maybe I won't be as excited about it. This movie is fucking awesome. It's a priest who turns into a dinosaur, but it's not what you're thinking. It's hysterical. It's absolutely 71 minutes of pure joy. Velocipastor, a man of the claw. Go check it out. Loved it. Thank you again, Jason, for that trade. These are all fantastic films. And before I get to my favorite film of the Wild Eye releasing so far, go on eBay and check these out, guys. If you don't have a local Walmart or video store you can get these at, go check them out. I mean, if you're looking for something different, if, if you're done with the standard horror films, or if you've seen every genre and you're looking for something different, Go check out the Wild Eye releases. They're really good. And hopefully this video will give you some inspiration. My all-time favorite so far is Triggered. I know it's not the reason why you guys think it is. Maybe. <laughs> Although she's very fun to look at. Yes, she is very fun to look at. But anyways, this movie Triggered, I cannot tell you how awesome this film is. It just, in my opinion was well done it's a little bit different and as you know I like things that are a little bit different go read the synopsis because I really don't want to give it away but um, anyways that is my top favorite of the Wild Eye releases that I have out of all 12 of the films that I have I want to thank you guys for watching this video just like Jason says is a tribute to him Wild Eye is where it's at with independent horror and once I reach another level on these films if I get 12 more I'll do another more review on the ones that I pick up otherwise go check out these Wild Eye releases go check out Horrific Nightmares JM go check out the Bronco Juggalo and I'm also going to put my buddy Tim's link in the description as well uh, he also does Wild Eye reviews and hope you guys are having a good day be safe out there Peace.